Good evening, everybody. Who knows Socrates? I don't mean personally. <laughs> I mean his teachings. Socrates was a classical Greek philosopher, treated as one of the founders of Western philosophy. Socratic method is learned by asking questions. I will ask several questions during my speech. First question. What is philosophy? The meaning of philosophy comes from Greek roots. Philo meaning love. Sophie meaning wisdom. The love of wisdom. Fellow, Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, welcome guests. Tonight, my topic is wisdom. I'm going to discuss wisdom from three perspectives. What's wisdom? How do we gain wisdom? And let's share some wisdom for fun. What's wisdom? Cambridge Dictionary describes wisdom as the ability to make good judgments based on your experience, knowledge, and understanding. Let's use an example. Long time ago, two women asked King Solomon for settle an argument. Women leave the same house. And a son of a woman died during the night. And each woman claimed the living child was hers. And the king said, Cut the living child in two. Give half to one woman, give half to the other. The woman of the child, the, the, the real mother of the living child, cried out, Oh no, my lord, please give the child to her. Do not kill him. And the other woman said, All right, he will not either yours nor mine. Let's divide him between us. And the king said, do not kill the child, but give him to the woman who wants him to live, for she's his mother. That is wisdom. Wisdom is a good thing. That's a number of ways to learn wisdom. One way through mental. That's an essential way since it was 2,600 years ago in Athens. Socrates was the mentor of Plato. Plato was the mentor of Aristotle. Aristotle was the mentor of Alexander the Great, who the first conqueror of the world. In a coincidence, back in China, Confucius was the mentor of Zenzi. Zenzi was the mentor of Zisi. Zisi was the mentor of Confucius. Another way to learn wisdom is to go to college, go to seminars, go to conferences. Ask people who spend their lifetime to seeking knowledge and pursue a wisdom. I still remember the gate on Howard campus. At the front, it says, 
intern to grow in wisdom. Same again, when you leave the part to serve the better your country and mankind. The third way to grow wisdom is to read great books. I mean not only paper books, but also audio books, digital, book, digital books, even surf on the internet. From last perspective, I leave you with some shared wisdom. Let me have some quotes for fun. No killing, no stealing, no sexual misconduct. What's that come from? You're right, from Buddhism. That's the first five step precept of Buddhism. From Bible, Ten Commandments. If you read the Bible, you know it's six, seven, eight. You should not murder. You should not commit adultery. You should not steal. That's cross religion. Let me ask another one. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Who said that? Any kicker? Lao Tzu. Anyone have Chinese background? That's Lao Tzu said. Nonviolence is the power for the brief. Anyone? Gandhi. The wisdom, true wisdom, can cross religions, can heal the divisions among people, can be translated between languages can overcome boundaries of countries. Let me leave you the final question. Who is wise in your life? And are you among the wise? Thank you. <laughs>